Perry. Yeah, I was up early. Mario woke me up, so I got up early. And uh, this morning was on 40 meters talking to the guys for quite a while. And, uh, I, uh, yeah, this this new modem and router is working great, man. It, 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 I have not had any, any sequence errors. Uh, th and these routers are all over the place, Perry. If you ever want to go and get your own system, your modem and router, and uh, stop renting them, they're they're all over the, uh, eBay for uh, uh, twenty to twenty-five dollars for these routers that I have. <laughs> they're everywhere. I'm going to buy a second one just to have it. So uh, they're really, really cheap on there. The Netgear N900. So anyway. Uh, let me see what else is going on. Uh, that's about it this morning. Conditions are great on 40. Oh, there's Joe calling roll. <laughs> Go ahead, uh, uh, Glenn. W2SDR in the group. Yeah, W2SDR, W3MMRA, 1SNG. Okay, very good on your router uh, situation there. Sounds like uh, you've got a, uh, a pretty good matchup there. But on the 40-year uh, operations, <coughs> sounds like the band may be uh, coming along quite well uh, in that area. And uh, yeah, so I, I came home yesterday, pulling in the drive my old driveway. My wife's standing there in the driveway, and uh, she goes, uh, "Hate to burst your bubble, but we got a hazmat situation down in the basement." Uh, what happened was the uh, the outpipe to the, uh, the septic got clogged up. So, uh, and then she was doing that, doing the wash. So that couldn't go anywhere. So basically, when it uh, when it, she was upstairs, when it pumped out, it flooded the uh, uh, flooded the bathroom. And then uh, that went out into the uh, the rest of the basement. <clears throat> about uh, you know, about 10, 10, 20 feet out. So I had to. Oh my God! I had to get the, the sump pump out. Pump what I could off. I actually brought in the uh, uh, through the base basement window. I brought in the uh, the hose, uh, the garden hose, and I started hosing down everything. And it was. Uh, it wasn't a backup through the septic tank, it was just what was up in the lines. But it was enough to uh, keep me busy for about four hours. And I was uh, lucky I have a, a big shop vac, so I was able to vacuum uh, the rugs outside of the uh, of the bathroom there, down in the basement. But uh, I had to really go in there and, uh, you know, scrub everything down. I used, like, four cans of Lysol. I did... Uh, all the uh, all the rugs are actually some in the shack here. I started coming in into the back of the shack and the rugs. It was pretty wet, but the uh, the vac really uh, I tell you I think pulled that water right out of the rug. So I've got the dehumidifier running. I've got uh, a whole bunch of fans running, and uh, you know just to dry things out. It looks pretty good this morning. But I had a vacuum, but that was a plus. And uh, then I put the cap on the uh, on the Honeywell, and uh, you know you can see where it just uh, you know the toilet paper had stacked up into the pipe. It was like a uh, it's just solid. And so once I freed that up, it was fine. But it was like really we got the septic guy coming this morning. He's gonna pump it out. See that I had the cap already off. We'll come down and pump it out. But, uh, man, there's always something going on. But, uh, no, uh, no major damage. And, uh, and it looks like I got it, uh, pretty well much, uh, just after it happened. And, uh, you know, again, going around with the lights all and everything and just, you know, hosing down the, the you know, all the sinks and everything, spraying and everything with Clorox and Jesus. But anyway, that's over with. Everything's ready to rock. <laughs>
But yeah, having a septic tank, you know, it's just, uh, uh, it's, it's pretty sensitive to, uh, you know, the type of toilet paper you use and all that crap. But anyway, on the valley at the Swan Perry, you're sounding great. Plus, Frank is always, uh, has a great signal, too. And, uh, it sounds like, uh, we'll be, uh, taking most of the day off here, just, uh, kind of recouping after that and that yesterday. Man, I'll tell you, I was just getting ready to, uh, okay, go get some fuel for my, uh, my leaf blower. And I was trying to find the two cycle oil, and it's like nobody had this stuff. You know, and so I went and finally went over to Home Depot, and of course, what do you know, you know, they got the frickin' aisle all blocked off. You know, I said, w w what's, you know, I said, w what's up with this place? I said, you know, right in the middle of rush hour, you people are stocking shelves. I mean, you know, don't you have like a, a, a second shift or a third shift? Oh, no, it costs too much money. I said, well, I'll go somewhere else and buy this stuff. You know, it's like, I don't know, it's just, when everything's going okay. <laughs> The stuff that bothers me doesn't bother anybody else, but anyway, I finally landed three, uh, three little bottles of the stuff, and, uh, you know, a lot of, a lot of places you go in, it's, of course, it's busy, uh, you know, it's leave, it's leave time, so everybody's going in and buying the mix for their, uh, power tools, landscapers, and all that, and, uh, but I don't, I don't need that much, but, uh, so what do you do after retirement? You, you maintain, you, uh, you know, damage control, survey pro, and, uh, you know, <laughs> well, we'll see. But, yeah, it's starting to rain here. Guy's coming this morning, and we'll see how things work out. Again, running the Valiant D104, R398. So, uh, looks like it's going to get colder. So you can see Frank is back, w, uh, W2SDR and one SNG. Well, I, I didn't go anywhere. I don't think I did. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, over to you, Perry. Yeah, W2SDR, W3MMR. Um, all right. Oh, real... <laughs> I guess I shouldn't say real good, Glenn. My God, that sucks. <laughs> now, I wonder... Well, I guess it doesn't... I guess it would probably be brown water, right? All over the house, all over the basement, like crappy water. That's what I would... Wow. So I'm guessing she was doing laundry. That's when it decided to back up. So maybe it was laundry water that went all over the place and not crap, which would be great. <laughs> I mean, because I... I, I I would think you'd have to call somebody like Surf Pro out there if that was the case, you know, a professional, you know, if that stuff gets into carpet or, you know, below the hardwood, if you got hardwood floors, you know, that could be, uh, could be pretty gnarly, man. Well, I'm sure you, you're not telling you anything new. Well, hopefully, uh, they can come and take care of it all today. Because I know my, uh, guy I work for, he had a, a tree fall across his deck about, Oh, probably three months ago now, and it landed so hard, it cracked the septic pipe going out to the septic. It, it fell across his deck, and the, I guess the pipe ran directly out under the deck, and from the force of this tree, it is a giant, 100-foot-tall tree, came down and pushed, I guess, one of the footings for the, uh, for the, uh, Damn it! For the the deck down and push the ground down enough to crack the septic pipe going out into the uh, out to the septic there. I was there when the when the plumbers were there and you could see the pipe how it goes and it goes down and where everything was clogged at. It was pretty cool the, the technology these new plumbers have with the cameras and stuff. But he was getting he was uh, it was flooding into his house too and into his basement. Man, he was getting water behind the walls and coming up through the hardwood floors and and it was all coming in right there at that main pipe that gave, you know that went out uh went out into the uh, went out to the septic there so phew, fingers crossed i don't ever have any septic problems pop i don't think you've ever had any septic problems luckily i don't even know if you've ever had your yours pumped out uh, maybe i heard you say talk about it one time but 
Yeah, no, uh, no septic here, just sewer, <laughs> city sewer and water uh, here. So, yeah, 47 degrees. Um, started messing around with the SX99 yesterday on the bench. Uh, Try to do an alignment on it when I got waiting on some alignment tools uh, so I can do things properly. But was just going over the alignment procedure yesterday and messed around with this little Christmas tree ornament I made. I made a Christmas tree topper out of three 6146s epoxy together and then I put a 12 uh, BY7A on the top <laughs> and I put three moldy color LEDs in the center of it and hooked it up to a wall wart. It works great, man. It looks really cool. So I was work got that finished last night. So that's my Christmas tree star. <laughs> down, up, down, over to you, Pop. Uh, w2 SDR and everybody's signals are fantastic. 20 to 20 to 35 over here. So W2 SDR to be a 3 MMR. Yeah, okay, Perry, fine. <clears throat> yeah, you're coming through good. Glenn's coming through good. There everybody is. I got to return that router that I bought uh, today. That and uh, uh, an aquarium pump that I bought. That's going back too, so I don't need that. So uh, I'll have to make <clears throat> a trip to the UPS store today and uh, drop that stuff off. I got the return information from Amazon, so uh, I got to pack that stuff up and take it back. I can't remember. I got a cable with either the modem or the router, and I don't remember which one came with the cable. I guess I gotta, uh, I gotta remember and send it back uh, with the right, uh, with the right unit. <laughs> I can't remember which which unit came with the cable. So that that's a minor issue. Maybe I don't even have to put the cable back in there, but I like to return everything I got it with. So. Yeah, sorry to hear about the issue there, Glenn. Uh, I'm on the, uh, uh, it's always, plumbing issues are always the worst. <laughs> well, I'm on my Anon this morning in the LD Moss uh, amp here in the shack, so. Talk, I was on 85 earlier, on 75, talked to Timmy, and uh, uh, what's his name checked in, um, Henry. And uh, Henry checked in. Also, there was somebody else, uh, N-A-U-L-N, I saw the end of him this morning, talked to Jim, and also this new guy, Cass, KD2GNZ. So, uh, there you go. Making the round. Uh, N1SNG in the group, W2SDR. Well, so, yeah, I mean, Amazon's usually pretty good at, uh, you know, you try to get all the, you know, the, uh, when I receive the packages, I always kind of, uh, you know, rip into them, you know, I make sure I have all the, uh, all the correct, uh, you know, packaging material and all that, whatever they send you. And, uh, I don't know how they, uh, you know, when they receive that, if there's something missing, uh, there's, the argument with it, I, th I thought it just went to one, uh, one type of a, uh, like a return facility, and then it gets posted out there, but, uh, yeah, it's always good to have all the, I keep everything, the twisty ties, um, styrofoam, whatever, whatever they send me, uh, and, you know, usually goes back if, if we have to do that route. Aquarium pump too. Sounds like uh, you might have uh, uh, had an issue with that, or maybe just uh, it was the wrong item. All right, going on the SF99 there. I know you. I think you were you were going to get that uh, some location, or it was being sent to you uh, one way or the other. Sounds pretty interesting. Yeah, great receivers. Helicrafters, so I've had a few of those, and uh, uh, you know, all, all, all good stuff. And I like your uh, the Christmas tree ornaments there. Yeah, that's uh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> the uh, vacuum tubes. 
And uh, 6146 is, wow. Yeah, I got a, I got a pair of uh, four, four hundreds here that probably I have to find a heavy, empty branch for those, I'm sure. And, uh, yeah, you said there was an issue with, uh, uh, I think it was your neighbor's uh, septic tree fell down or something and uh, did some damage to the septic there. Yeah, we usually don't have any issues with that. That's been pretty good. It was a new unit uh, when we moved in. But that was all gray water. That was up in the top there. Coming out of the, uh, because the, uh, um, the washer was emptying out. But man, I'll say, when I came down in the basement and I saw that, I'd never seen it like that before. You know, I've seen a little bit of overflow, but man, I was like, that's the crap. <clears throat> so, uh, then the shop vac, you know, I'm looking, I find the shop vac, it's in the garage, I clean it out, take the filter out, you know, now I'm looking for the, uh, luckily I had a, I got like a 20 foot, uh, suction pipe for that thing. So that worked out pretty good. <clears throat> and then I'm looking for the sump pump. I got three brand new sump pumps. Two of them I got at a yard sale, and then the other one I bought. So I opened up the first box, and it's like you need a inch and a half diameter hose to discharge. Same with the next one, and then finally the uh, the one that I had bought probably ten years ago. It was all new in the box that had the uh, garden hose fittings on them. So anyway, I thought I'd never use that thing, but I'll tell you, it really came in easy. And I just pumped the, uh, pumped the water out into the backyard. So that took care of that. Yeah, nothing entered the radio room except to the back. It was, you know, the rug was, was kind of wet there, but that vacuumed right up. But, uh, yeah, other than that, hey, shit happens, as they say. Like, thankfully, it wasn't, uh, coming back up from the, uh, from the below, so. But, uh, <clears throat> so anyway, we'll, uh, get it right over to you, Perry. And, uh, you guys are sounding great this morning. We've got a non-Nerdy Moss. Really, uh, what a nice, very, very nice lineup there. Always sounds, always sounds great, so. Where are you picking up? W3MMR, I want to send you. Yeah, I'm gonna send it to you. M1 SNG. W3MMR. I hear something like knocking outside of my house. I'm like, what in the world? I don't know what it is. Anyway. Oh, I'm glad it wasn't, uh, wasn't any. Wasn't worse than what it could be. We'll leave it at that. With the with the water, man. God. Yeah. Well, good. Good. That's all getting squared away, Glenn. Man, for real. Yeah. Anyway. I uh. I can't get over the bad conditions this morning. Everyone is coming in fantastic. I mean, everybody's well above 20 over. Hopefully, I'm coming in all right. I'm only running 100, about 150 watts. Well, oh, here this morning. Getting low on coffee. I have to go make another cup. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. The SX99. I got that was dropped. I got it dropped off to work. Uh, Glenn guy. Uh, I found it on. I think I I, I might have mentioned this, but I found it on QRZ, and uh, the guy was just so happened to be coming to Philadelphia to visit a friend the other day, and said that he'd be uh, he'd be willing to drop it off on his way through. So he came right to my work and, and dropped it right off. And uh, couldn't be happier, you know. For a hundred bucks, the uh, thing's in great cosmetic shape. It, you know, alignment's a little off, but I mean, it's you know nitpicking. You know what I mean? It and it works great on AM. That's really all I'm going to use it for is for 3885. You know, the AM window and maybe 160. And I actually had it on 160 with the DX100 yesterday. I think it was yesterday. So it works pretty well on 160 as well. Um, so yeah, we'll uh we'll mess around with that, do an alignment on it, hopefully don't screw it up too bad, but I got the signal generator my dad gave me, the uh HP, what's it, eighty six forty? What I don't remember the model number anyway. 
so now I have a signal generator that I could actually do alignments with so um, I figured it'd be the perfect one to try to try my hand at and see if I can't mess it up so all right I'm gonna go but back back to you pop I'm gonna uh, run down the hall real quick but I'll be within earshot and I'll be should be back by the next <clears throat> the next round here so uh, W2 SDR W3 MMR. Talk to Tony, called in on the fusion. Just called in for a minute. Anyhow, I don't have too much more here, really. I gotta get some more coffee. I think I wanna move up to Studio B. Maybe uh, go up the band or uh, go to 75 uh, side band. We'll see what happens this morning. Um, I gotta go to UPS, like I say, to send a bunch of stuff back. I found out by the description of that router, it came with a cable. So I'm going to make sure I send that cable back. I have an extra cable to connect between the modem and the router, so I'll make sure I send that cable back. Uh, so send everything back that it came with. So uh, that's my little project for this morning. And uh, I guess, uh, well, you're up early this morning, Perry. Uh, you, do, you have to, do you have to work today, Perry? Like Perry uh, must have ran in the other room there. So uh, I don't have too much more here, Glenn. Uh, do you have to? Do, did you? Do you have to? Set, do you have to uh, call a plumber out there for that problem that you have? Over. No, I. I w two S D I one S A G. No, I. Uh, I was able to uh, get out to the uh, septic cover. I've got a uh, kind of a manhole cover in the backyard. I was to pop that, and then I could see the blockage. Uh, it was just solid. Uh, coming down the pipe. It looked like a fireplace log coming out of it. So as soon as I busted that up, it, you know, it, it discharged uh, into the tank. Uh, but, uh, you know, I do all that work. If, if I thought it was uh, something sewer pro could handle, uh, you know, I'd I look into it. But it had just happened. And I had everything there. I had the sump pump to get into the bathroom. The bathroom kind of angles off to the side. It's in the basement. Got a stand-up shower over there also. So I was going to put the sump pump in there. And, uh, you know, I started vacuuming the uh, other rugs. And uh, the, the shop back really, uh, I'll tell you, that thing worked really well. The thing's got to be 30 years old, but it's an old Sears. And uh, it really uh, it really sucked it up. Then I ran, went around with uh, uh, a little Lysol, and uh, uh, yeah, I just hosed everything down with Lysol. I mean, seriously, I think I went through three cans, uh, mostly out, out on all the rugs, you know, around the molding and all that. And then uh, I vacuumed that again, and then applied another coat. Now the bathroom, I uh, took the outside garden hose in and just put a, you know, I got onto everything with it, washer, dryer, uh, you know, of course the shower I cleaned up, there was some backup, and the toilet, uh, same thing, scrubbed everything down, then I just I hosed everything down with the hose, it's a, it's a basement bathroom, so anyway, um, everything's, to, uh, everything's high, high and dry here this morning. Uh, I'm back or anything, I'll, I'll run another uh, coat of uh, a Lysol uh, around the basement this morning, and just to clean that up, there were no boxes or anything that got uh, uh, in harm's way, so that was good, uh, it's usually those cardboard boxes, you know, but anyway, looking good, and uh, hopefully uh, that doesn't happen again, um, it's just, uh, you know, septic tanks, you got to be careful with your uh, usage and uh, you know just making sure that uh, it's it's doing what it's designed to do and not uh, you know take other other things uh, you know and, and, and as a garbage disposal. But <laughs> anyway, uh, Frank, catch you later. Sounding great. Good other 40 uh, 40 meter activities there, keeping you busy and. Uh, uh, you said you'd gone out early this morning, I think it was, and uh, 
talking to any ULN and the guys, yeah. It's, it's uh, on the East Coast here, it's really different uh, as far as propagation at all. Uh, you know, it, it comes and goes, drops off, comes back. Uh, you know, that whole gray line effect, I guess. Who knows? It comes and it goes. We'll uh, hopefully talk with you maybe uh, this afternoon or maybe tomorrow morning. So, you know, uh, hope the schedule goes here. So what? Uh, W2SDR, W3MMR, uh, N1SNG. Uh, you back yet, Barry? Yeah, I'm back. You, uh, you still there, Pop? Yeah, I, I, I'm going to move off. I'm going to uh, go upstairs to Studio B and check on a few cats and get on a headset and get on Slop Bucket, I guess, on 45 for a little bit. And, uh, and we'll see what's what there. Are, are you are you off today? Yeah, I'm off today. Is that what you asked me when I when I went down the hall? Yeah. What? What? Uh, I can never keep track of what day is it? Monday. Yeah, it's Monday. Yeah, I can't. I have a hard time keeping track of my days off. I don't know how you could do it. Okay, so you're off today. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll be talking today. So uh, I'll uh, I'll talk to you in a little bit and. Uh, in one mode or another. And Glenn, uh, 7 3 to you, and uh, we'll see you guys later. Go ahead, Perry. W2 STO. Yeah, all right, Pop. I'll catch, with you, uh, I, I, I'll catch up with you later. Anyway, 7 3, Pop. The. Uh, what's I going to say? Well, I'm back, Glenn. I am back. And uh, that's a bomb. I, mean, I couldn't imagine going through any crap like that. Like, literally going through crap like that. <laughs> I guess that's what I have to look forward to when I become a homeowner again. I, I owned, I've only owned one home in my short existence on this earth. And I was in my early 20s when I owned that place. And uh, I wasn't there for that long. It was probably a little over a year until my wife and I split. And uh, my ex wife and I split. <laughs> and. Uh, and uh, I didn't have enough time for anything to go wrong in that place. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, but I guess after I had left, uh, the, the roof started needed to re, need, uh, shortly thereafter. The roof needed to repair, and uh, so I guess I, I quote unquote got out of there at the right time. <laughs> but it wasn't. Oh man, it wasn't by my choice, Glenn. <laughs> ah, you live and you learn, right, buddy? <laughs> Here we are, free. 12 years later. Oh, I crack myself up, man. If there's, I, if I can give any advice to anybody listening, if your kids are listening, I should say, don't get married when you get into the military. <laughs> Dual military marriages don't work. I'll tell you that right now. They never do. <laughs> I, I don't think I know of any dual military marriage that lasted like their entire lives. Almost every single person that I know that ended up being together in boot camp or got together afterwards in school they're all they uh, got married and then they're all divorced <laughs> it just it doesn't work man you're like apart from each other for a year at a time what eight months oh well of more because I mean, sometimes i you know she will go on deployment and then boom it's you know boom there i go there she goes it's you know we go so long without seeing each other and then all the and when you're not on deployment there's underways well, you're out for a week at a time. You're out for two weeks, and you come back for a week. You're out for three weeks doing exercises. You come back and into port for two weeks. I mean, it's just it's a nightmare, man. Anyway, I don't know how I got down that road, Glenn. Oh man, oh yeah, we were talking about home ownership. Yeah, well, uh, I'm saving now. This place where I'm at, it's it's cheap. It's it's kind of it's in a really good location because obviously I'm very close to work. I'm only a block from my mother's house. Uh, you know, I grew up in this neighborhood as as a as a teenager, late or, you know, I guess in my late teens, early twenties. You know, my mom's lived in this neighborhood for 25 years, and uh, so it's 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 familiar. Like I said, it's real cheap. I mean, it's cheap, man, and. Yeah, it's decent, you know, it's not run down, I don't have bugs, you know what I mean, I live in the city, I live in a decent neighborhood in the city here, um, and my, uh, and my landlord is, 
super, super cool about all the antennas, man. At one point, I had a five-element Yagi on the roof, five-element 10-meter Yagi on the roof. I, I mean, it was the size of the roof, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, I had the G5RV in the side yard, and I had an 80-meter dipole in the tree. The G5RV was on a push-up pole in the side yard, and I don't have a huge yard, man. <laughs> so it was uh, quite the sight to see, but she walks, she comes over, you know, rarely, but she'd come over to stop by and say hi. She was in the neighborhood and, or come to drop off something, and she wouldn't say a word, you know. So all she cared about is, is if everything was installed correctly, and it obviously is. So cool on that, Glenn. Anyway... Wonder uh, what you're up to today, what the hell's retirement been, all that fun stuff, any new projects on the horizon besides uh, working, uh, being a master running a shop vac. M1SNG, W3MMR. Sorry, Glenn, man, that sucks. Uh, brutal. I'm gonna go back up to th to 75 meters if you wanna if you'll be up there. 75 meters, 75 meters. If you can hear me, we'll catch you later, Glenn. Seven three, man. We'll uh, we'll chat later. M1 SNG W3 MMR clear now. Yeah, 